Welcome back. Members of the religion Raman Catholic are preparing for Lent, a festival where the faithful promise not to enjoy a favorite indulgence while anyone is looking. Should they be caught, they must go to Confession. Confession is achieved by entering a dark closet containing a hidden old man. Sure, it's creepy as all hell, but it's a convenient way to self-administer punishment for self-administered guilt. An alien news desk can now report that this practice is more widespread than we believed. In fact, they've taken the show on the road. Gluttons for self-administered punishment, the crafty humans have contrived a way to visit a confession booth and do penance without even leaving their automotive vehicles. It's called a drive through window. Here's how it works. A guilty human drives his conveyance to a whimsically shaped surveillance device. There, he proceeds to list his shameful misdeeds. A uniformed clergyman inside receives the transmission and quickly calculates the sinner's monetary fine. The human drives forward and pays his penalty, but his penance is not complete. He then receives a bag of absolutely gut-wrenching slop he has to wolf down before he has atoned. The penance is especially severe at the Confession facilities designated Delta. Here we see a man receiving a sentence of two tostadas and a queso snacker. He must be a dangerous sex criminal. Second by the sex criminal. I say fill him up with queso for all I care. Queso snacker? I, sounds good, actually. I know. Yeah. And in other news. After a toxic waste spill decimates a town, these kind local beekeepers volunteer to clean it up. Finally tonight, humans just can't properly dispose of anything. Everywhere, humans are living amongst the ruins of the last tribe of gibbons that squatted on the spot. Whether it's the long-gone toga party people... Or the mysterious island of the cult that worshipped a large-headed, successful competitive swimmer. But the most mysterious is the vanished race that erected these enigmatic monuments. Incredibly, the evidence is irrefutable that Earth cities everywhere were once home to a race of tiny cylindrical people with funny hats. Who were these diminutive creatures, and why did they love funny hats so much? Some of the hats were red, some yellow, but they were always funny. There are no photos of them, but we're 99.9% .9 sure they looked exactly like this. Look at that cute little dude, doffing the cap he holds so dear. He's like an otter in a red spacesuit. Their culture must have been widespread, but it's vanished. And not even the memory survives. Despite the ubiquity of these silent funny hat man devotionals, humans barely notice them at all, commonly allowing their animals to micturate on them. The ultimate disrespect. Oh, it's such disrespect to those tiny hat people. What they, what they ever did to you? All right, that'll do it for tonight. Here's some stories for the next broadcast that require further germination. These efficient robotic boy bands can arouse twice as many prepubescent girls in half the time. An escaped genetic freak on the loose while the military does nothing. Who will be discharged for this gross negligence? And humans continue to deny climate change, even as this building melts to the ground. I'm Tuva Van Boyd. And I'm Drex Strudlar. This broadcast has been terminated.